Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we're going to talk about Kevin Hart losing his legal dispute against Tasha K. If you're not aware, Kevin Hart had filed a defamation, a defamatory lawsuit against Tasha K. In it, he's basically accusing Tasha K of defaming his character and reputation. He's also accusing her of extortion and invasion of privacy following a tell-all interview that Tasha K did or heard on her TashaKLive.com um, app with his former ex-assistant, Misha Shakes. No, there's a main reason why Kevin Hart lost this lawsuit. And I believe that he was well aware of the fact that it was a gamble. And I believe that he thought that this gamble would have turned out in his favor, you know, because from the get-go have been saying to you guys, the energy that Kevin Hart is given and how he's approaching, you know, this entire situation with Tasha K is approaching it basically, you know, acting as though because he's a celebrity and Tasha K is just a YouTube a YouTuber, he has more legal rights, more legal grounds than she does. But that is nothing but fallacy, and it has been proven in the outcome of the judge decision. Because the reason why he lost the lawsuit is because the judge is saying, hey, you're telling us that this lady released an interview on a platform and details in this interview is defaming your reputation and character. And not only that, you are only, you're also accusing this woman of trying to get money for you, from you initially in order to not release the interview. And you're also alleging that this interview is invading your privacy because there's private and sensitive details that has been released in this interview. And the judge is saying, if you're making these claims and if the interview does exist, why didn't you provide a transcript of that interview? And I'm going to tell you why Kevin Hart did not provide a transcript of that interview. That is because there are damaging information in that interview. And as such, Kevin Hart cannot afford for the transcript from the interview to be um, ended as to the court as any form of physical evidence because they are incriminating information in there. For example, that accident where he paid that person $4 million allegedly to switch places with him. It has been a long forever discussion through the streets of YouTube and other corners of, you know, the show business of Hollywood. So Kevin Hart knew that, you know, if that transcript transcript would have been brought in front of a court, there are damaging allegations in it that could, you know, be could have been used against him or brought up back during that trial, and that could potentially open a can of worm. So I believe that when he filed that document asking the court for a temporary restraining order against Tasha K and asking the judge to, you know, get the video removed from the site. I believe they were well aware that they were taking a risk. And their excuse is that if they had provided the transcript, it would have defeated the purpose of the temporary restraining order. No, while that may sound somewhat intelligent and it may sound as though it is somewhat in alignment with legal proce legal proceedings, at the same time, it is not making any sense because if you're building a case against someone automatically from the get-go, you know that you have to provide some type of evidence. And if they had provided the transcript, it wouldn't have defeated the purpose of the temporary restraining order, which is also showing you that the temporary restraining order was also issued because there was not enough evidence and it was saying, you know what? I believe that your claims may or may not be factual and as such, that is why 
Kevin Hart got that temporary restraining order because the interview does exist. But the court document, sorry, the transcript would have also helped to provide as evidence that, you know what, you need a permanent restraining order because this interview was very damaging. This person is very dangerous to your reputation. So I believe that what they did, according to the judge, it's baseless. They did not provide any evidence and there's nothing proving that, you know, anything that they're accusing Tashiki of is factual. According to the judge, <laughs> the judge thinks the request is basically them going overboard. The request is actually vague because they're just moving like okay we have an opportunity we have a leverage over this woman and the leverage I believe that they were going with is the fact that Kevin Hart is a celebrity and Tasha K isn't but that did not work out in their favor and as such he has lost the lawsuit and he's not going to go back to file any legal claims and provide a transcript you know why because there's again there's damaging information towards Kevin Hart in that interview that can get him behind bars for quite a number of years and he's not going to take that risk the first um, lawsuit it was just a gamble that they were hoping would have worked in their favor and in the end it did not and guys that's really all i have to say about that let me know what are your thoughts and while you're at it um give this video a big thumbs up share if you care stay safe stay blessed and see you guys later peace